The what, why, and wow of the car world. A Moto Man Minute begins now. I hear you brought to our hometown some show and tell. Well, you know, we're here in the Big Apple launching the 2013 Taurus and 2013 Taurus show. We originally created the show mm. back in the late 80s. With the Yamaha engine. Oh, it had a beautiful engine in it, but it, it, was, it was almost the sleeper car in that, you know, you'd be driving down a highway. And I remember I had, I was living in, I was living in L.A. at the time, and I had a Taurus SA show with a manual gearbox. And you're going down the 405 or the 5, and you know, there, you know, people like to, you know, when, when traffic moves, they, you know, they want to show you that their car can do something. So I had people would come up to me and, you know, blow by me a little bit, and then I'd just step on the pedal, and people would just go, because they didn't Cause they expect it. Exactly. And that's what drove the development of this car. There's a show club, and it's kind of, they are huge zealots for the tour show. Have you seen their website? Absolutely, it's They're so cool. On the top of the banner when this car came out, yeah. it literally just said mission accomplished exactly. over the top of the banner. They helped us. They actually volunteered their time and efforts to help us to develop the 2010 show and helped us on this one. And they feel like they, they own it. What kind they, of feedback did they give you? What, 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 how exactly did they help? Let me give you an example. New vehicle has bigger brakes mm -hmm. and tires because they said, listen, you know, there's a little bit too much brake fade We'd like, we'd like it, you know, a little bit more, you know, grippier. So we upsize the tires, we upsize the brakes, and now we have a vehicle that uh, that really meets their requirements, and also really? just makes it all the more. So really, attractive. the enthusiast groups kind of help design the car. Uh, you know, they they live and breathe this, and mm. and at Ford these days, it's all about taking input from wherever it comes from. 